I got into comedy because I like standing around, I'm not gonna lie. I like watching other people do things. You know? Growing up, I wanted to be a, a Guinness Book of World Records officiator. You just stand around. Yeah, he did this. I'm good at watching people do things. I'm so good at watching things. Netflix is even like, are you still watching this? I like standing around. Uh, that's why I was on the football team in high school. <laughs> Some parents won't let their kids play football because it's dangerous. My parents would, but the coach wouldn't. So, <laughs> so there's, a lot, there's a lot of just this. Hey, where's the parties after? Uh, I go by Razzle, as, as you guys have heard, as I've said, because uh, growing up I wanted to be either a rock star or a wrestler. Uh, but I don't like fighting. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fighter, you know. Some people are, are lovers, not fighters. I'm not a fighter, I'm more of a run and a fleer. <laughs> Anytime there's conflict, I'm like, oh, my friends are always like, hey, do you got my back, bro? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I wanted to be a rock star. Uh, uh, I used to be in a band in my early 20s. Um, and then I got tired, I just got tired. Because half the time the guitar players are always like this. They're always running back and forth. And then they're always like, they always stand on the side of the stage and every time they get to the side, they're always, they always act surprised. They always look kind of confused, you know? Like they just walked out of a store in the mall and they forgot which direction they were walking in. Yo, you guys need to go to more malls. Cause they're confusing. Singers. You know, singers are weird, guitar players are weird, you know? Guitar players, I'm jealous of guitar players though because they can do whatever they want, you know? They can wear what they want, they can wear tights, you know, leather jackets, face paint. They get to stand like this. You, know? <laughs> you can't do this at the office, you know? <laughs> I don't know why this turned into an office from the 1970s, but... <laughs> I assume you guys all have typewriters, right? <laughs> Kevin's like, Steve, what are you doing? The new lunging desk. <laughs> Singers, you know. They can wear what they want. You do the job for them half the time. Every time I go to a concert, the singer's just like this. <laughs> hey dude, I bought a ticket. I don't want to listen to Kevin here singing karaoke. <laughs> Bass players make me laugh too, I love bass players. Cause nobody knows the bass player's name. And the bass player is always like the odd man out, you know? Like he never knows what to do. He's always just kind of standing on the side of the stage and like he kind of, he looks like the robot from Chuck E. Cheese, you know? He's just like. <laughs> so true. And then, and then every, time the, every time the song ends, only his spotlight shuts off and he's just like, meh, meh. I like punk bands. Punk bands make me laugh because everyone's like, oh, punk rock, man. It's not about the looks, man. It's the attitude. I don't care how I look. And you're like, really? You spent two hours putting safety pins in that leather jacket. <laughs> And another hour gluing up a mohawk that won't even fit in your car, so you have to drive like this. <laughs> and then the singers, they're always lying. You know, they're always lying to you. You know? I saw Beyonce two nights in a row last year, and both nights she said, we were the best audience she's ever had. <laughs> I don't know if that's because she knew I was there having a good time, or if she just tells that to everybody. I love my dad, I'm just gonna say that, right? He was a dad, you know, he did his job. Uh, but he's a follower. I don't know if you guys know followers, people who are followers. Like, my dad will see a belt on the cover of Men's Health and he'll go out and buy that belt. He started watching Breaking Bad recently and I'm a little concerned. <laughs> you know, I don't wanna quit his job and become a high school teacher. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
He calls me up the other day though, and he's like, son, you're not gonna believe this. I was watching the movie The Bucket List, and I made a bucket list. And I'm like, I don't believe it. That movie's 19 years old. How are you just seeing that movie? He's like, you have a full life ahead of you. You know, you're gonna be alive for another 52 years. You should make a bucket list. So I made a bucket list, but I think I did it wrong, because my bucket list is just so generic, right? Like number one on my bucket list is to buy a cat. Because number two on my bucket list is to buy a dog. Because number three is to name my cat Waterfalls. So every time my dog is chasing my cat. <laughs> you guys don't even know the joke yet. I want to be able to say, hey, I don't want to scrub. Get out of here. <laughs> Dude, it's a stupid TLC joke. Uh, <laughs>